Hello everyone, this is Jordan. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you 10 tips for you if you want to become a pastry chef. Please guys, let me know in the comment if you want to become a pastry chef and why you want to become a pastry chef. If it's not done yet, just subscribe to the channel, click on the little bell and I hope that video is going to give you a lot of information. Let's start! Tip number one, be in a good health. This is one of the first conditions that you need if you want to become a pastry chef. Why? You need to check yourself first if you don't have any allergy like flower allergy, if you're not wild to transmit some germs, you need to check that. Very important. Tips number two, be resistant to efforts. Being a pastry chef is a hard work. You will need sometimes to work 14, 16, 18 hours, especially during the busiest time of the year, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. You are not going to sleep that much. You are probably going to have a lot of stress. So if you, I would say you need to be able to rest in a short amount of time and to take out the stress of your day. Tip number three, you need to be courageous and perseverant. You have to understand that this job is not always to bring you satisfaction. You're going to probably mess up recipes multiple times before to be able to have a decent result. You're going to mess up those recipes because of a lot of things, of the stress, because you don't sleep enough, because you're tired, because you, you work straight for weeks, for months, for some people, who knows. So you need to be courageous and perseverant to go through that. Tip number four. Be clean and observe the hygiene instruction. Being clean is one is fundamental if you want to become a pastry chef. You have first to change your clothes every day. Don't come at work with dirty jacket, dirty apron. Wash your hands really regularly. You need to respect your environment. You need to clean your equipment and to respect the ingredients. Tip number five. You need to be clever and meticulous. You need to be meticulous to be a pastry chef. You will need to decorate multiple times different cakes to be able to have an amazing result. Tip number six. Be organized and methodical. In this job, you will have to make a lot of different recipes. Each recipe has his different way to do, his different way to be done. So you have to be methodical, you have to be organized for a perfect final result. Tip number seven, be ordered. This is a big point. You have to know that the way that you are going to learn to make a recipe is when you, when you start. This is the way that you are going to work for all your life. So make sure to ask a lot of questions about how, about why, to your chef, to your boss, to whoever who is teaching you something. Make sure to check what's going on around you. Make sure to see and remind his movements, the way how that person is doing it. Once again, better you learn, better you're gonna be. And how you learn, once again, you are going to work that way for all your life. Tip number eight, have a good memory and be curious. About having a good memory, that means your chef or your boss, most of the time, they are not going to be patient enough to show you things. They are going to show you things once, twice, 
the first times the third time they're going to be pissed off of you if you're not doing well that's why make sure to have a good memory to memorize every movement to memorize how i don't know how you glaze something how you spread chocolate on on a cake how you make the mousse and all that stuff be curious ask once again ask a lot of questions you have to know that more you ask more you're going to know and more you're going to do your job perfectly don't think that a question is stupid it's stupid to not ask it tip number nine respect your environment respect your equipment and respect the ingredients you have to know that pastries equipment are very very expensive if something is breaking, it's very expensive to fix it, right? So make sure to use it properly. If you don't know something, ask your chef. About respecting the ingredients. I'm always thinking about the chocolate, the vanilla. This costs a lot of money to a company. I'm not saying that you're not going to have to throw away things. Even me, after 15 years experience, I messed up some recipe that I have to throw away, that I don't have to fix it. Recently, and the funny part, if my boss is watching that video, I messed up a pastry cream. The pastry cream is the first lesson if you start an apprenticeship. I threw it away, but well. Tip number 10, and for me, one of the biggest one, show initiative you have to show initiative you have to the people who are teaching you something have to see that you want to learn for that of course at work make sure to be always concentrated when you're doing something to ask a lot of questions but believe me by fact to be better you have to try things by yourself and it means that trying things by yourself your boss is not going to allow you to try it during your working time because he's paying you to make some work during that time for him for running the company you're gonna have to stay after work i can't tell you how many hours i stayed after work to be able to make a, pre a perfect croquembouche, to be able to make, to prep my exam. Before my exam, I remember maybe six months before my exam, two, three, four times a week, I stayed like three, four hours at work to be able to be good, to be able to make things perfectly and to make things fast. So ask also your boss, okay, well, is that okay if, we put, if I try a new cake for next week? Your boss is going to be happy because for two things, you are going to have a satisfaction because your cake is in the showcase outside. And your boss, of course, is going to have a satisfaction as well because he is going to get more money out of it, you know. So showing initiative for me is one of the biggest things if you want to become a pastry chef. You need, you need to, to want it. You need to show that you want to be the best. All right, guys, this was my 10 qualities to become a pastry chef if you guys like that video if you guys want to know more about the job about me just leave a comment i will also answer it as soon as i can and i wish you all a beautiful day and i see you next time for my next video thank you very much